a blow to Putin. One penny is all it takes to buy an entire Russian ruble. Russia's economy is on the brink of disaster. The Russian currency has sunk to new lows. Today, it breached the 100 mark. What does that mean? It means you can exchange one US dollar for 100 rubles. Scary news, right? You enjoyed the last price comparison video, and with all this crazy news about the Russian ruble collapse, we decided to go out again and bring you the facts from the streets. And by the way, there's also a great in-person interview with a real shop owner in my town. So stay tuned and enjoy the show. So what do you think about the news that the Russian ruble is collapsing? I don't believe in this. If it's real, it must affect our economic. It means it's a price change at the store, but price the same like was one week ago or one month ago. And so today's episode is going to be us going to places like grocery stores, electronic stores, furniture stores, because if the panic has actually hit here in Russia, you're going to see it immediately. So what I find interesting is that there's so much news covering this, but here we're not getting any word from it. So who's right, who's wrong? Uh, we're going to find out. I know one thing that's never going to collapse, and it's this delicious Baikal water that we get for free at all these fountains. And now we're refreshed. And what's going to be the first store we visit? It's electronic store. Say techniki. Nice. Let's go. In case you guys can't tell, we're actually out of Irkutsk, and we're going to be doing this video in our hometown of Sri Lanka. So it's going to be very interesting. Gonna be over here. Microwaves. So five thousand, almost like six, six thousand. That's sixty dollars. All these cost like sixty, six thousand, which is sixty dollars. The price range on these microwaves went from 5,000 rubles to 15,000 rubles. That is $50 to $150. Now, remember to leave a comment letting us know how much these things cost in your country. This is going to be a big experiment like last video. We're going to be able to compare all the prices all over the world. And now let's look at more things. The one that, the one that we have at the house how much did it cost you when, when you bought it? Uh, we bought it like one month ago. It cost 5000 5000 Yeah. These are like better ones, like 15000 Yeah, it's Samsung. Samsung costs more expensive. Hmm. As soon as we turned this corner, there was an employee who was following us. So we needed to act like we were going to buy something. So I'll let you know the prices of the refrigerators now. The refrigerators cost from 20,000 to 40,000 rubles. That is 200 to 400 dollars. Remember, let me know how much they cost in your country. Well, if we go, if we have to buy the house, do they sell, do you think they sell the ones that are just the small ones? Um, 47,000, that's... In DNS they have, <clears throat> here I don't see 470 it. for a stove. And so this is me acting like I was going to buy something, but let's get into the prices of the stoves. Interestingly enough, the stoves cost from 18,000 to 40,000, which is similar to the refrigerators, $180 to $400. Now, both of these things did look a little bit old, like older models. Um, I don't know. I haven't really bought one in a long time. So again, let us know if these are the same types of refrigerators and stoves that you see where you come from. Ask them if they have just the ones that that are just two. Yeah, because I want to see the price for it. Uh, put on. Uh, yeah, the one that's two. Uh, uh, what's the price for the Yes. On the order it is. Uh, they don't have it here. Okay. Yeah, the Nice is coming. Yeah, the Nice. We're really lucky we have DNS. Yeah. So now a store they have uh, more options. That DNS has more options. Maybe they have. All right, then we can go. 
Okay. I just really wanted to see. 27. At this store, they do have uh, big options. Uh, they say you can order on website or from these people. And now we go on DNS. Uh, this store have big options and they have website too. And so guys, I know that we're moving a little bit faster, but I'll be sure to put the prices that come on screen are going to be for various things. And I'll stop the video and I'll explain uh, how much things cost in each store but i want you to comment every time you see something you know i want to know the prices i want to know how much it costs in your country on last video we had hundreds of people telling us how much things cost in their country and it was really really informative so please do keep that up and by the way guys we are in our town of sludanka we are no longer in irkutsk so all of these prices you have to just take into consideration they are town prices Okay, they might be more than the usual because we're not in a city where everything's very, very available. And uh, anyways, look at this nice flower arrangement. It's really cool. We're walking towards DNS right now. Xenia, mm. didn't you used to work at DNS? Yes, I work on the website. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, but... You worked in an office. It was uh, first. I work at the store. After this, I work at in office. Uh huh. At the store, I work uh, almost like two years. In uh, in office, I work uh, more than six years. Wow! And now, you're just uh, helping me make videos for now. <laughs> yeah. So thank you so much. But it's really good store now. Yeah, it's it's, it's really good. They if have a lot of options. Uh, if compared with different stores, it's one of best. Stores. Yeah, I think it is the best, in, at least in our town. Inside the middle of the town, you have uh, different people selling like potatoes or whatever they, they harvest. Like this lady over here, what is this? Onions? No, it's mushrooms. Mushrooms? Yeah, once you asked me why I like, I like mushrooms, uh -huh. and they sell it right here. Look at the mushrooms. They even have salted already, not only fresh. Interesting. Yeah. All right. Yeah, guys, mushrooms, honey, all different types of fruits. Here, even babushka sell uh, things from uh, dacha. Oh, well, I've never seen these before. What is that? Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe it's Morodina. Well, let's see if my friend has any. No, she no, has she don't. vegetables. All right. Let's go to DNS, guys. Um, just, uh, I like trying new things, like fruits especially. And uh, if my friend had them, I would have bought some. This is how the DNS shop looks like. Has everything you need. Really cool. Let's go inside, check those prices. All right. So if we follow the 100 ruble rule, 40,000, we'll just count it down. $400 for a nice washer. Here's one for 50. But you also have options like 24,000, which is 240. It's like this, but you put your clothes on top. Why does this cost so much? What is this? There you can hear me ask Senya, why does this washing machine cost so much? We don't own a conventional washing machine that you could just plug in and the water goes out into a drain. No, we don't have one of those. So I was really surprised to know that the washing machines went from 23000 to 65000 So $230 to $650 blew my mind I don't know it's uh, maybe because it's small size it's not so big like this but it's uh, the same same kilo, seven kilo like this this even six kilo huh. after the washing machines we went upstairs and you can hear me get a little excited because I really wanted to know the price of electronics we do pass some scooters but we'll get a better look at them after when we come outside.
Let's go. Ding, 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 ding. ding. All right. Scooters. 50,000. 50,000. <laughs> 50, that's 500. 80,000. 83,830 electronic scooters. But we're actually here for a charger. Strasvitje. We're here for a charger for the battery pack. One good thing that we found that we need is this uh, USB cable. That this is three meters long and it's going to connect to our uh, power bank. Because we're doing the live streams, thanks to your guys' donations, we got this power bank from this DNS. Now we're going to buy this uh, three meter long cable so that we can continuously charge while we're streaming. And uh, we can put the power bank, oops, the power bank in our backpack and just keep our GoPro charging. The price is 650 rubles, which is $6.50. Let us know below how much something like this would cost in your country. Big, like flat screen TVs. We have a lot of them. These look a little bit older. 25,000, $250. This is like 300, 370. It's between there. When we got to the flat screen televisions, I wasn't really sure what I was looking at. I don't know the brands, but I could tell you they were really, really thick. And they went from 23000 to 38000 which is $230 to $380. In my opinion, they're not really worth it. But here we're not talking if it's worth it. We're talking about prices. What are the prices in your country for flat screen televisions? To me, it seems a little bit expensive for these type of TVs. These type yeah. of TVs look a little bit old. Like you're not going to pay... $300 for something like this in America. But you need to forget what uh, now uh, many companies don't come in Russia. They must go from a uh, different country. Mm -hmm. That's why it can be a Yeah, it can old. come from a different country, but it looks pretty old. It's not really a flat screen. That's all right. Let's uh, keep looking at other things. The iPad prices range from 36000 to upwards to 100,000 rubles. Now that is 360 to a thousand dollars. I don't know the models of the iPads, I'm sorry, but that kind of sounds fair because especially right now during sanctions, they're really hard to get. We finally got to the iPhone guys. The ones you see on the screen are iPhone 14 Pros and iPhone 14 Pro Maxes. Let's start off with the iPhone 14 Pros. The 128 gigabytes will run you for 127,000. The 256 gigabytes will run you for 135,000. That's 1,270 and 1,350. And the iPhone 14 Pro Max goes from 128 gigabytes from 140 to 256 gigabytes to 149,000 rubles, which is 1,400 and 1,490. Remember to comment below where you're from, how much your iPhone cost, and what model is it. Let's start comparing in the comments section. All right, gamers, let's see how much computers cost, like laptops. Um, Honestly, some of these prices are a little bit ridiculous, but uh, you tell me because I don't know anything about computers. 58,000 for Huawei. There's all these brands that I don't know anything about. $700, 70,000. Again, $1, 100 rubles. Easy math. All these different laptops that I've never seen in my life. Would you buy one of these laptops? Uh, maybe like MCI because I know it's good company and usually they made a laptop for gaming. Really? Yeah. I've never heard of MCI but this one's uh, $1,130. It's Huawei MCI right here. Oh wow. Okay, here's an MCI. $1,560. 
You have a different type of Still a crazy price. All right, here we have some towers. I thought they were like completes, but this is $420, basic $430. Most of them seem to be like in the $400 range. I would never pay $250 for something like this. Again, I have no idea anything about computers. Guys, let us know how much do these things cost in your country? Oh wait, here's some weird uh, device optic or what is this thing called virtual reality huh mm -hmm. for two thousand two hundred dollars i've never seen anything like this so i wouldn't know three hundred and fifty dollars for the beat ones you have your drones your dgi mini 78 so that's seven hundred and eighty dollars for your drone we're here at the same dns and it says the ps5 is uh, 59000 basically, $590. Is that how much these things cost? I don't own one, but let me know how much it costs in your country, a PS5. I think it's totally worth it to buy these scooters, like if you're an older person. This is $830. It's electric and you basically don't have to walk anymore and you can sit down. There's different varieties, 500. Do you remember how much you paid for your iPhone? Uh, 50,000. 50,000? Yeah. Uh, that's back then money. That would obviously be $500 now, but back then it was actually a lot more. Um, you saw the prices for the iPhones and all those electronic products. Can you tell me what's the most expensive in your country? Like here, it seems to be that the most expensive thing is the iPhone 14. Yeah. Yeah, for iPhone the most part. iPhone always was the uh, most expensive. Yeah, those damn iPhones. So we are a little bit tired of walking around. We're going to go to the bakery and eat a little bit of food. Uh, we're going to show you the prices there because I think they're amazing. So let's go look at the goodies. Mm. They don't have it. You can ask what happened to it. They don't need it? I want one of each. <laughs> 90 rubles. 95. Uh, 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 you want? Does it have chicken and potatoes? Kurnik. Yes. Da. How much you want? One. Uh, three kurnika. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay, we're here with Ksenia. Uh, let us know how much all of this cost. It's uh, 427 rubles. 427 rubles. And we got two of these uh, pizzas here and three of these chicken and potatoes and a water. And what did you say? 400 and what? 27? 27 rubles. So it's basically $4.30. And now it's time to eat. By the way, guys, we are having this meal next to the Lenin head statue. So cheers to you, Lenin. We are done eating. Goodbye, Lenin. And Ksenia and I will now walk to Jora, uh, my buddy who owns a fishing store, so we can ask him about the prices. He's come out in a few of our episodes, so he's a really reliable guy. Let's do this. It doesn't matter how things get, how bad things get, just like water, we're gonna have the KFC here in Sudanka. Meme it up. Well, my friends, like I said, I'm gonna come and show you a real business. And Jora, he has his own real business. You can see he's got a fishing outdoor store. And we're going to ask him some questions to see if this collapse is going to affect him at all. Shora, first of all, how long have you had this business and did you start this business yourself? This business I opened for 12 years ago, in 2011, if I forgot. And we opened it completely family. This is my wife, my children, we are all here. And that's it. 
как бы платим well, за... Ага. Well, basically, guys, this is his business. He built this himself. He says he's had this for about 12 years. Everything you see here, he's made himself. He's built up. Started from nothing. So that's something to be really proud of. Now, interestingly enough, in case you didn't know, last year there was a supposed collapse where the ruble was like 127 and things were going out of disaster. Um, I want to know, Jora, in the last five years, have things gotten hard for you or easy? How have things gone for the store? Well, for the last five но вот э, туристов за границей стало меньше, ага. очень даже меньше. А вот э, с России, наоборот, стало очень-очень больше, конечно, насчет этого. Но вот еще на бизнес повлияло, конечно, вот этот ковид. Очень-очень сильно повлияла она, конечно, на очень сильно. Но сильно так по финансовым вопросам я скажу, что нет. Как было, так и осталось у нас. All right. So, basically, from what I understand is, look, There's been ups and downs, but things have gotten relatively normal for him because if anything happens outside in the world, the Russian tourists are going to come themselves. So the COVID lockdowns, the, the economy took a hit, but guess what? Russia picked it up. More people from Moscow, more people from St. Petersburg, Irkutsk. So there hasn't really been a problem. And if there was a problem, like in the beginning of the conflict where the ruble went really high, Nothing changed for him. Why? Because Russian tourism is still alive and well, which means that people can still spend. And just to drive it home for you guys, you can see all of these things behind us. Jora's store is absolutely packed. I personally want to know, Jora, where do you get your things from? No, в основном мы закупаемся в компаниях Иркутска. Там очень крупная компания есть здесь, четыре компании. И еще Новосибирск и Омск. Так как вот э, Новосибирские, Омские наши вот, э, учредители, они как раз они у них занимаются грузоперевозками, у нас не бывает проблем. Они каждые две недели привозят и сами до Слудянки. Не до Иркутска даже, а вот именно до Слудянки. Well, I mean, honestly, from what I understand again, he is uh, in some sort of company that works out of, or well, he takes out of a company that's out of Irkutsk. They also have headquarters in Novosibirsk and Omsk. There's absolutely no problem in the chain to bring things in for him. So he's well supplied. And I am going to guess that, I mean, ask him another question. Uh, is he worried at all if things are going to change or is he confident? I just want to know how to show or... Go ahead, can you ask him? Как вы чувствуете? В Дай Бог, все будет хорошо. И было, чтобы хорошо во всем мире у и всех людей. Чтобы right. было четко. I mean, there's no problem. Mm -hmm. He's confident and I'm confident and I'm totally supportive of him. And I want to say спасибо. Вам спасибо. Uh, Дай Бог guys, здоровья вам. He is a staple of this town here in Sludanka. Everything that I have in my videos, from my hat, from my boots in winter, my swamp boots, everything is from this store. And I want to say спасибо. Вам спасибо. Всего доброго вам. Дай Бог здоровья, удачи во всем. Ага. Чтобы у вас все осуществилось. Дай Бог. Которые у вас есть мечты, чтобы у вас все сбылось. Дай Бог. Thank you, guys. Будьте здоровы. We took you to see the prices in electronics. We took you to see the prices in home appliances. We even talked to an actual store owner. So, it's up to you to let us know. Do you think that this collapse is real? Do you think that things are expensive? Because if things would have been already so crazy in the West, you think we would have heard about it here in Russia. What do you think? Are things really as bad as they say? No, I don't see it. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, me neither. And let me tell you something. Jora, my friend, if there's anything that's going to hit him, I'm pretty sure he's going to survive. And so, my friends, from the shores of Baikal, we're going to say goodbye. And thank you so much for joining us. Bye. Thank you.